As you desire. Lovely. Ready to dispense the herd. <laughs> So I shall. And so I shall. And so I shall.
Why do spirits seek out mages? I've always wondered. You speak of demons. I am not a demon. Aren't demons simply spirits with unique and sparkling personalities? They have been perverted by their desires. But what do they want from mages? Perhaps they wish the same as I. Silence!
sweet news, I hope. Tell the mother. The first, it is dead. The Grey Wardens are gone from the marsh. Wicked, wicked Wardens. They killed the first, killed him. Cut out the mother's heart. <laughs> but was it not the mother who wished him dead? Again, to hear the sweet call. We are all lost, but the day will come when the silence ends. <laughs> Christoph. Oh, thank the Maker. I fear you are mistaken, mortal. Christoph? Why are you... What has happened? I am his wife. Your husband is gone, and I inhabit this body now. His death will be avenged, I assure you. Avenged? You've desecrated his body, how dare you? It was not intentional. There was... Get away from me! This body has memories of this woman. Aura is her name. I did not know she would come. I must rectify this somehow. Intentionally or not, I have done this woman a great disservice. My memories suggest her home is in Amaranthine. It will prey on me if we do not seek her out. There must be something that could be done to assuage her pain. Something. The Darkspawn call our attention, but should we get the chance to seek her out, I would be grateful. Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. I don't suppose... you know... in your travels... I'll be here. Don't tarry too long. Got a wall to rebuild. Warden. Haran is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. 
Never a care for the art, the art of crafting. But you, you're not so dreadfully common. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things, things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade, what are you about? Oh, nothing, nothing. Remember, fantastical materials. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> Explosives! The name is Dworken Glavenok. Some call me Dworken the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. <laughs> Have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> I developed these particular formulations, but it's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. Aye, aye, and that it is. Lost a cousin to it. And some apprentices. But a stable formula would put a mess of herd on the dark spawn. Let us retake some of our lost tigs. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. I'll be careful. Careful-ish. Initial Veril has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Just give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> 